What? What is it? What? You're silly. You're just gonna chase mommy. You're gonna chase your mama. Yeah, you love mama. Mama's your favorite, huh? You're a sweet girl. You're walking so good, Autumn. You're so strong and happy. That little tail just a wagon. You're so happy. Don't eat my pants. Well, hello everyone. I am back. The quail want to talk to. The quail are doing great. I'm doing much better. I'm coming out of my funk. I'm starting to feel better. I'm feeding my body really nutritious vegetables all the time and just making sure I'm staying on top of my vitamins and supplements. I'll tell you, having an autoimmune disease or even a thyroid disease, either or, is extremely difficult. Having both is so much fun. So if you guys ever feel like your health competes with your ability to homestead, you're probably right. But it's also so worth it because my homestead helps me pull out of my funks. Coming out here and seeing the joy of autumn walking and my quail laying and my goats producing, it's just magical. Having the garden come into fruition, all of it brings me so much more joy and peace than you could ever imagine. So yes, it is worth it. Miss Autumn, are you the fastest baby goat that ever did live? Look how fast you are. You chased me up this hill. You are so strong, little girl. Do you even know how strong you are? <laughs> you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Hello, Miss Autumn. Could you tell us how it feels to be a big girl that can walk and hop and jump? Can you tell us, how does it feel? How does it feel to be on your feet again? You're loving it, aren't you? Autumn is doing really, really great with her walking. It's improving every day. She has a lot more um, <laughs> muscle atrophy in her front right, front right, front left, no, front right. <laughs> yes, this, this front leg is a lot smaller than this one, muscle-wise, and the same on the rear, except opposite. This leg is smaller than this one. So she is building up those muscles quicker than I expected, and you see how she's got this kind of a curvature with an uneven shoulder and hips. That is getting better every day. Huge improvements that we're seeing in her body structure, in her walking, her stability, her ability to walk for longer periods of time. She no longer is taking rest after walking. She's just walking until it's rest time for all the goats. And she's running out here with the big goats with no issues. And it's like she is almost a brand new girl. And I think in a big way, because of her new life, she has given me new life. And she is absolutely <laughs> obsessed with her mommy. She is like rubbing on my legs while I talk to you. Yep, yep, we're gonna try to eat the camera too. <laughs> she loves her mommy.
I want to say thank you to everybody for all of your thoughts and prayers during our difficult time and me having to take a break from YouTube for a little bit and you guys being so kind and understanding. I'm really excited to be back. I actually missed videoing and editing way more than I thought I was going to. So I'm super happy to have the camera back in my hand and to make this birthday my comeback birthday. So this video probably won't come out until the end of the week because I have a video that I have to do for Ryan and another video that's um, from a special friend of ours that we are getting really excited to put out. So this will probably be Thursday or Friday when you see this. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm happy to be back. I'm glad to be back. I need the YouTube community. You guys are my rock. I need the homesteading. I need the filming, the creative outlet that it gives me. All of it. The community, the support, the kindness, the love, the friendship, and all of the benefits that come with it. So thank you guys so much for being so supportive during our difficult time. Daisy's starting to get an udder. She sure is. Daisy and Fancy Girl are due May 1st. So we're super excited to see what they give us. Daisy's carrying very small and Fancy Girl is carrying as large as ever. She's in the middle so you can't really see her. But they're doing really well. I've got all of these plants that we just transplanted oh no looks like something dug in that pepper that's not nice I've had something digging in my plants that I have outside but I've had this door open I'm gonna have to get a little bit more soil to top that off so anyway we've got all these peppers they're bell and sweet we have two purple tomatillas this one that was by it closest to the door I picked off all of the really um, sad looking leaves I think it was too cold for it last night, having the draft coming in under the door because it got down in the 40s. Um, and then we have all of the weird fruits from Baker Creek. So, pepino melon, um, otricoli orange, blackberries, not blackberries as in like blackberries that, um, they're a different kind of blackberries. They're sol solanacea. Um, huckleberry, and Wonderberry. So we've got quite a bit of fruit to go into our food forest. Lots of peppers for the garden. Um, 
and then everything that we have outside already, already transitioned. So a lot of you have asked what I have been doing while I've been gone. Well, a whole lot of transplanting. So these are all our cuttings that were grouped together in four inch pots that I've ramped up into a bigger size. And I've separated some of our fig cuttings into bigger pots by themselves. I still need to separate these four fig pots and get them separated. They, these look like they're full of weeds because they are and I'm not I'm not bothering with pulling the weeds because these are all trees so the tree seeds will come through those little surface weeds no problem it won't bother them and then this is the newest tree tray and when I say tree tray these are much deeper they're not as sturdy as the bootstrap farmer trays that I've been so impressed with but they're good because they have the deep tap root of, available so um, someone mentioned that they had a ton of loquat seeds and they were nice enough to send me some and I'm so excited about that I cannot wait loquat is something I've wanted to grow on my homestead since I first started researching about goats so <laughs> it's been a long time coming the loquat leaves help fight diarrhea and then guama is an ice cream bean that my daughter tried in the tropics and she um yeah, she may have uh, had a few seeds in her pocket by accident when she came home. And then these are walking onions that I don't know if they're going to make it. They were pretty, pretty dried out and looking sad, but I went ahead and put them in these trays to give them a chance. And my dear friend is actually going to be sending me more um, in hopes that we'll get plenty growing from them. As you can see, the potatoes have grown all the way up to the top I have got to backfill still with the soil I need to do that right away and they're all growing really great our strawberries and peas that the boys planted are growing fantastically I am shocked beyond belief that these strawberries are already putting out fruit and I'm hoping that it doesn't get too hot for those peas as you can see they have begun ripening we have already picked two strawberries and this one looks like it's ready to pick but I'll wait till the boys come out here and let them have the honor they have been loving the way the strawberries taste they said that it's the most delicious strawberries they've ever had and I have to agree got another red one there some pink ones coming in there so I need to finish getting this weeded and if you look you can see our beautiful comfrey blooms they're just gorgeous. I love them, love them, love them. They've had lots of pollinators on them every day. They're super awesome. And then down here, we've got our fruit trees planted. Ooh, wait a minute, that one, that one, that one might have to come with me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. It's almost the size of my hand. I wanna eat it right now. So the fruit forest has finally come into fruition. I need to get all of this mulched really deep and good, but for the most part, it's, it's on its way to completion for sure. So I had my daughter's friend John come and he got this tree and this tree from the old orchard area. And then he got three figs, there's two there and one there, they're just little. Um, he also moved three blueberries or two blueberries, I think, and then planted five more blueberries in between that I had in pots from last fall when we were supposed to plant them. So we got blueberry, blueberry, fig, blueberry. This is a apple tree. It's a variety of apple trees grafted onto one. So that's why there's so many tags. They're all different kinds. Same with the pear tree. They are all different kinds grafted onto one. And then blueberry, fig, blueberry, fig, blueberry, peach tree that was, I thought, dead. But this is growing. So this is the graft line here. 
So this has to be removed. We don't want anything growing below the graft line, but this is growing above the graft line. So I'm gonna see what it'll do. Why not? Blueberry there. And that's it for now. Ryan had a very successful day on the tractor and got all of this soil worked up. He got this bed ready. Well, not really ready, but close to being ready. He started making it, designating where the paths would be so that I can get in here and start planting this row. Garlic will be here till probably July. This row is a pretty um, established perennial bed, pretty much. This entire row is nothing. There's some things going to seed on this end, like radishes and stuff that I never got to but we'll be just working all that in. You can see I got my, some of my broccoli planted down there. Um, asparagus we've been picking, but we're missing a lot of it because of how deep the Creeping Charlie got because the bees are enjoying the Creeping Charlie. We're not doing anything about it right now. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see the bees in the water. They are loving it. Horseradish came back kicking strong. We got these wild leeks that Ryan dug up from an old homestead, doing good. Horseradish jumped beds and is on this side now, so that's kind of cool. I'm not disappointed in that. Um, gosh, what else? So many things to update you guys on. So this bed is supposed to be all sugarcane. As of right this minute, I have not seen any sugar cane come up yet, and it's kind of sad. I hope that doesn't mean that we lost it all because of how wet the winter was, but it's a good, there's a good chance. These are looking so healthy. Guys, I'm telling you what, I'm just looking at this again after just a couple of days of planting, and I'm going, wow, wow. They bounced back much better than I expected. And these are the peas that Liam and I planted one day when we were out here and he just had to plant something. So it's coming along slowly but surely. We're later than we'd like to be, but we're getting the job done. We just gotta get it done. We suffered some heavy losses in our tomatoes, sadly. Um, they were left out in an unexpected rainstorm and the rain from the gutter fell right in the middle of the tray and killed most of them from that side on. So I got one Brad's Atomic Grape, maybe two out of my most favorite one to grow this year. That's kind of sad. But they're doing great. The ones that made it are loving this greenhouse. They are ready to go in the ground. I just gotta get the time to do it all and the bed space to work in. All of our brass brassicas that are left that I haven't planted, mostly cabbage and stuff and some kohlrabi I've got that need to be planted. My artichokes are liking being outside much more and our flowers and herbs are germinating quite well. So those are doing really good too. And then we have this beautiful dill and basil and this beautiful pink celery this beautiful red celery. Look at the red stems on that. Isn't that cool? I like the pink. I really like the pink. They look like they're very strong plants too. So, got lots of transplanting to do still. It's funny, because I almost always get Ryan to till my garden, plant my garden for my birthday. And today, it's my birthday. So, <laughs> it's kind of ironic that another year has come where Ryan has given me my wish for my birthday. So I need to get a lot of planting done. I still have so much more that I'm gonna direct so um, other areas that need to be prepared um, for planting. <sighs> Just so much, so much. Oh, the bees are doing excellent. They're doing really good. They're about ready to have new box put on already because they've already filled up that top box. We are, we've pulled out the feeders and added the rest of the frames and the boxes seem to be doing very well and I think we're gonna have to probably add another box on one of them at least this week and Liam got the opportunity to help us and he was so excited. 
All the poultry are doing great. As you can hear the quail, they've started to pick up their laying again. They kind of molted and weren't laying for a little while. I think that was a squirrel on the roof. I don't know, usually I see it jump to the tree right here, but. So I just wanna say thank you again for all of your kindness and support, and I'm on the mend. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna make this the best year yet. So thank you for watching. Please like if you've enjoyed the video. Share it with your friends, especially some of those tutorials that can really help out some people and um, give them a little bit better insight into goats or gardening. If you have any questions or comments about the video, leave it down below and we will be reading all of those comments as we always have. If you're new to our channel and you have not subscribed, what's stopping you? Come on, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications and follow us along on our journey. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.